Hi, this is Alec Pierce from Scuba 2000 with a tech tip. Tips that I hope will help you to make your scuba diving easier and safer, more enjoyable. That's the whole idea. Today we're going to look at the simplest basic process that you'll learn as a scuba diver. Putting your scuba unit together. When you did your open water program, you learned how to do this. You should have done it several times. You're pretty good at it. However, there are little things about this simple process that I can help you to avoid problems. I have a couple of ideas about this simple process that will help you to prevent problems within your regulator. I service 100 regulators a month, and I know the problems that occur and how they occur. Maybe I can help. We have here a standard 80 cubic foot tank, just like the tanks that most of you use. The same tanks are used worldwide. First thing you do, of course, is take the tape off. Most tanks, when filled, have a piece of tape. Take the tape off. Do not throw it on the ground or in the ocean. Put it into the garbage. Second thing you do is let's make sure there's no dirt in the air outlet. Just open the valve a little bit. Not too much. You don't have to blast a whole bunch of air all over the dive boat, irritating people. Just a little wee bit to make sure there's no dirt in there. Next, pick up your regulator. This is a standard regular system as well. First stage, second stage, safe second. Low pressure hose to the BC and pressure gauge. Let's take a look as we put this on. Undo the yoke knob. Poke out the, uh, the dust cap. Now, the inlet filter right here, the air goes in, obviously goes over top of the outlet on the valve. Place it like so, and do the knob up, just snugly. You don't have to do this hard, just snugly like that. If you've done everything properly, and you turn the air on slowly, nothing happens. We must have done it right, son of a gun. Open the valve all the way, right to the end. Don't jam it, but take it right to the end. Maybe you learn from your instructor to turn it back a little bit wrong. We'll talk about that again in a different type tip. Now, does it work? Let's see if it works. Primary, second stage, works. Secondary, works. Pressure gauge, we have air, 1,000 PSI, great. Super, let's have a good dive. 1,000 PSI will be a short dive, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, end of the dive, how was that? Good, huh? Now we need to disassemble this scuba unit, and here's where problems occur. I see it all the time. One tiny, tiny drop of seawater inside your regulator can wreak havoc, and you'll be in to see me at a substantial cost, too. Let's see if we can avoid that. First thing, of course, is you recall is to turn the air valve, the air knob off. Turn it all the way off. Don't jam it. Just turn it off. Okay. Now, you all know from your basic training that there's still air in the hoses. You can see there's air in the hoses. Of course, the second stage. And listen. There you go. Uh-oh. There's still air in there. Hold it down until all the air is gone. Look at the pressure gauge. It says zero. You know it's all gone. Good. Hoses are limp. Now we can take the regulator off. Undo the yoke screw. If there's no air, it's very, very easy. Now, here comes the important part. Make sure you have one nice, dry, clean thumb. As you take this off, immediately put your thumb over top of the air inlet. Now, take a look at the dust cap. This dust cap, typical of today's dust caps, has got a hollow in there. For some reason, that hollow will hold about a quarter of an ounce of dirty seawater. You've got to get it clean and dry before you put it over top of that vital filter. So, look at it. Blow into it. Look at it. Make sure it's clean and dry. And when you're finished, just replace your thumb with the dust cap like so. Do the yoke screw up lightly, and you've done it properly. You may have seen some divers on dive boats, and they take that dust cap, hold it in front of the airstream with the regular crack it wide open, and they blow salt and sand and dirt all over the dive boat and irritate all the other divers as well. Don't do that. Simple. If you follow these very simple directions, I won't see you for a while because you won't need service. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you'll learn something. This is Alec Pierce, Scuba 2000, Tech Tips. Talk to you again soon.